Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install Power BI Desktop on a Windows-based computer. Before installing Power BI Desktop, we need to make sure that we have the minimum requirements that will enable Power BI to run on a computer. So I'm going to start with the hardware requirements. So for hardware, you need to have a minimum RAM of one gigabyte. Recommended RAM is 1.5 gigabytes or higher. Okay, so if you have one gigabyte, it's okay. But if you want things to really work, it's recommended that you have gigabyte of 1.5 or higher. CPU is recommended that you have a CPU of one gigahertz or faster, which could either be an 86 or a 64 bit processor. It is recommended for the display to have the resolution set to 1440 by 900 or 1600 by 900. So this is the recommended resolution. If you have a lower resolution set such as 1024 and 1280 by 800, these are not recommended resolution. So if you don't have the recommended resolution, what will happen is that certain controls such as when you close the startup screen, and also displaying some information on the screen will be missed out. So it's important you have the right resolution set. The display settings for the text should be set to 100% or less. I'm just going to quickly show you the settings on my computer. So I'm going to right click on my desktop and you can see here I've got display settings. So in my display settings here, you can see here that I have, this is the text that is talking about that we must have it set to a hundred percent or less. Cause if you have it, have it set to higher, you may miss out some of the text for the app display. And also here I've got my resolution set. So to use Power BI desktop, I'll need to change my resolution to either this 1440 by 900 or the 1600 by 900. Okay. In order to get Power BI desktop to display properly. So now let's take a look at the software requirements. So the minimum software requirements are you need to have either a Windows 10 computer, a Windows 7 computer, a Windows 8 computer, also a Windows Server 2008 and Windows Server 2012. Also the release two versions of the Server 20, 2008 and 2012. Those are also recommended. You must also have the .NET at least 4.5 on your computer. Finally, you must have Internet Explorer version 10 or later. So these are the minimum software requirements. To download Power BI Desktop, we need to go to the link displayed on the screen, which is the official Power BI website. So this is the official Power BI website. So if you scroll right down to the bottom of the page, there should be a download section. You can see here, I've got the download section. So I'm just going to click to download the Power BI desktop. So click on that. And it tells you here, you have the advanced options. So before you download it for free, click on the advanced options and you see the options available to you. So the language, default language is English. If you're not English, select the language that relates to you from the drop down. And before you click on the drop down, just expand the details so you can take a look at the version. So you've got the 
desktop if you are running a 32-bit desktop you need to download the .msi this one and if you're running a 64-bit desktop then you download the 64-bit okay so just download the relevant one that relates to your operating system you can take a look at the system requirements as displayed here and also the installation instructions so i am just going to head back up and hit the download button to begin the download so i click download and you can see here it gives you the screen here i'm going to check this because i have got a 64 bit if you've got a 32 bit check the 32 bit one which is this one above it tells you the file size so i'm just going to click next to begin the process you can see here the download has started on the bottom left hand corner i'm just going to give it a few minutes to complete the download the download of the power bi desktop has completed so i'm just going to double click on it on the bottom left hand corner of my screen to run the installation files so it saves you here so just click on next and click to accept the license terms click next and it prompts you for a location so it gives you a default location where it's going to install it if you're not happy with that you can change the location so i'm going to accept the default location i'm going to click next and it's giving you an option here that is going to create a desktop shortcut if you don't want that you can uncheck that but I'm going to leave that checked because I want an icon on my desktop and then I'm going to click on the install tab here to begin the installation the time it takes to install obviously depends on the type of computer you have and the resources on it some may be faster than others the installation of the power bi desktop has completed so you can see here is put a shortcut icon on my desktop and i've got this option here to launch power bi desktop i'm going to uncheck it because i don't want to launch it at this moment and then i'll click finish so that concludes the installation of power bi desktop thank you for watching bye for now